Okay. You're a new jungler. You're just getting started with jungle. What should you look at? I'm not gonna tell you the champions you should play. I'm just gonna explain how you want to play your rollout. As a jungler, your income is through gold and experience from jungle camps. Obviously, you wanna start a machete or talisman depending on your jungler. I'm not gonna go into the uh, different junglers themselves and tell you specifically what you wanna take. But it depends on the jungle you're gonna play. Most of the time I would advise refillable potion. There's nearly no jungle clear I would recommend going for the normal potions. Yeah, I mean unless you're super hard struggling with keeping up your health then don't go for it. It's nearly never worth it. Like I said your income is uh, from camps. They're gonna respawn a lot and how jungle camps work is after they were slain once they respawn again a new level and give more experience depending on the basic level in the game. So keeping your camps up for a long time means you are not you don't get as much value out of slaying those anymore. Then again, there are different ways to maximize um, your win rate in jungle themselves. If you for example have seen the enemy jungler start blue buff, you're starting on your blue buff as well. You have the opportunity if you know there's no vision around to maybe invade their red buff and by stealing that red buff you to for example make sure that you get that red buff kind of itself and the enemies miss the experience gold as well. I'm gonna do a guide on invading and stuff like that later on. That's just one super basic concept that I just wanted to quickly mention. But you don't need it to start get started with jungle. If you're just getting started with jungle just try to go for the basic jungle killers. One of the most basic ones would be red buff into Raptors, Wolves, Blue Buff, and then look for topside Scuttle Crab, mid lane gank or top lane gank. A nice way to know when you want to gank is hovering over lane sales by playing the game and having a game plan in mind beforehand. Okay. <clears throat> there are different jungle starts you can do. You can do a free camp clear, which gives you level 3 immediately, and then try to look for top lane mid lane gank if you're starting on red set here. If you start enemy jungler basically, you would do the opposite on bot lane and mid lane. You can also do the reverse by starting at blue buff, grum, red buff. That's the fastest way you can get level 3. Um, if you're starting on red, it will be red, grum, uh, blue buff or grump, and then the other one to get level 3. You can also get level 3 by clearing for blue side. Then you would end up mostly after at raptor, uh, at wolves, and then you usually go for red buff into a gank if you start blue side. If you want it as fast as possible, since you know bot lane is kind of volatile, then I'd advise you to go for blue, grump into red, and then gank. You have to evaluate those things themselves and gonna help you with guides in the future to explain it. Those were just the basic starting guides. After that, first clear, you want to make sure to mainly full clear your camps towards uh, the side that you want to gank or play around. So for example dragon is coming up soon, we're gonna clear top side towards the dragon area. Ganking and um, getting gold and experience is not different. It would be compatible to laners only roaming if you only gank. Instead of farming the tower, enemies get advantage and experience and gold and just take your tower and you're gonna lose the game. So only ganking doesn't work on most junglers. There are a few exceptions which we are not gonna mention right now since we are just going over the basics, like I said, multiple times already. For laners, how you guys want to play around jungle. Obviously, if junglers want the leash, you will try to help them. Junglers, take in mind that um, if you leash a lane, they are most likely behind and it's super volatile for bot lane, since bot lane level 2 is the most important thing in early laning phase most of the time, besides the matchups themselves. So if your bot lane gets level 2 uh, later on, then it's harder for them to play the game out correctly. Unless the enemy lane is pushing anyways, then yeah, you usually don't really want to start there. But it doesn't affect the game dramatically if you do. It's just to keep an eye out on. Like I said, jungle, or I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but jungle is the meh role that needs the most knowledge to compare to the other lanes which have a lot of mechanics involved while jungle has maybe 20% mechanics and 80% map knowledge I'd say. Okay so once we establish clearing jungle camps for junglers what does it mean for laners? Top lane for example we see enemy bot lane was leashing 
That means jungler is unless they are playing Elise Jarvan, not going and gank level 2, so we are pretty safe until minute 310, until they did their 3 camp clear. If you have more specific information, then we play around that, but let's just say we only know that they started red. So their clears would be either full clear, which would be super delayed, and after scuttle trap they basically gank, or right before scuttle trap. If they don't full clear, go for level 3, and then the one I mentioned earlier. Then it means they gank around 310, so you're gonna place a ward before minute 3. <clears throat> Depending on where the wave set is to prevent junglers from ganking you or you dying from the jungle gank. If you're bot lane you didn't see them starting red buff, then you kinda wanna prevent that gank from happening as well. He's gonna start there, so you're gonna be careful until the same amount of time basically. Up until minute 310 you're kinda gankable and you wanna avoid playing too aggressive. After that time period, the enemy jungler is most likely going to be topside, so from that point onwards you can play aggressive. Exceptions are if your jungler is around this, oh wait, that's mid laner. If your jungler is around bot lane area as well, and he can come to help you in time. That's the exception when you can play aggressive as well, when you know you have your jungle support as well. Okay, for mid lane, there are junglers that can gank level 2. If you know where the enemy jungler started, you want to hover the other side of the river. Mid lane is the lane that can be ganked the most, since jungler can always go mid lane, obviously, depending on uh, no matter which side he's on. So, how you want to play it usually is either towards your jungler, you want to hover the side of the river, or on the opposite side of enemy jungler, basically. You can also help your jungler set up ganks that way by hovering around. If you know enemy jungler, for example, is topside, then there's no need for bot lane vision at that point, so you might as well defensive ward right here to prevent deep uh, ganks from happening. When you're back here at that position, then it's super unlikely for most junglers to be able to gank you successfully, unless you use your gap closing ability for some reason, which you should obviously keep for ganks. For example, on Vladimir, that would be W. Um, yeah. Okay. After that, um, keeping track of jungle couldn't be done by ward thing as a laner. As a bot lane, if you get some free time, you have just pushed the wave. The supporter could, for example, ward right here, maybe try a mid lane roam as well, or ward over there to prevent ganks from happening or get knowledge on enemy jungler. And from that positioning on, you're gonna play your lanes accordingly, like I just mentioned. As a jungler, it's also important to get a dragon and rift herald control. The two first dragons are important if you're the early game team composition and to prevent the enemy if you're the late game team composition from getting those dragons is nice as well but not mandatory. If you want to scale then just give them the two dragons and farm, get some farm and gold advantage, uh, XP advantage and to get the dragon third and fourth one after that. That's at least how I recommend you play it out. And after mid game or early game, you have to keep in mind enemy laners besides bot laner are ahead in level and CS and experience basically. So not going over aggressive on them when you're just 1v1 is mostly the best advice I can give to you. You're a jungler, you're basically a support for the entire map, but not really a solo laner. So don't act like one for no reason and die stupidly. That's the best advice I can give you at the beginning. And please don't type better jungle wins unless it's actually the case, but a lot of the times it's just how lanes play out and not really the fault of the jungler themselves entirely at least. There's mostly always a slight fault on the laners as well. So please don't be toxic and try to be a nice community. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'm gonna go more in depth in later jungle guides. I hope I explained some basics to you and thanks for watching.